So what do scrappers do during an eclipse? They get their gold-plated circuit boards ready. And other circuit boards. Stack of four computers there. Need to take apart. In here I got a bunch of phones, a bunch of gold-plated boards, some motherboards, and I'm heading down to my storage unit right now to dig out the rest. I'm getting my circuit boards ready to send to boardsort.com. And I've got quite a few of them, so this should get interesting. If I take my solar eclipse glasses and put them over the lens, I wonder if we can get all oh, what do you think? Can you see that? All right, I've just got a ton of circuit boards and stuff in here. I'm gonna dig out. I've been needing to do it. That tote's full back there, and they're just all over the place in there. Full little tote there I had up in my apartment. Full of phones and little, all kinds of gold plated stuff in there, and other circuit boards. Got a little time lapse going. Let's see where we're at here. It's not bad. I'm not sure how dark it's going to get here. I'm in the 95% zone, just off the band of totality. So it might not be as cool as some of the other places, but. I can already feel the temperature dropping. It might be kind of neat. We'll see what happens. Well, I think that's as good as it was going to get. I think I missed the peak by just a few minutes maybe when I showed it to you on camera. I think that was pretty much the show. But uh, here's the circuit boards I dug out of there. Plus that tote. I don't think my time lapse is going to be all that hot, but you never know. It might be kind of interesting. See what happens. And I could have more circuit boards in here. I had a comment a while back. Someone wanted to have a look inside my storage unit, see some of the stuff I got in here. Hopefully, the lighting's all right. There's my old motorcycle hiding back there. Got a monitor. I got into collecting these metal items like that cardinal there and there's a handmade uh, plant deal back there like flowers and petals in a pot and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, some old broken playstations and stuff right there. If anyone's interested in those. I got those on my site eshippity.com and check out this birdhouse back here. This Get this out of the way. That's a brand new rim. I found that in the garbage. <laughs> Look at that birdhouse right there. What do you think? I'm holding on to that for myself one of these days. And I got more. I don't really collect a whole lot of stuff, but I come across stuff like this. Like this little frog and that kind of stuff. Metal items like that. And of course, my mascot. The scrap vulture himself made out of a rake and shovel and another rake and like a garden hoe and <laughs> I put these little magnet balls on his pupil I, I didn't make that I bought it at a garage sale and I was gonna scrap it and it was all rusted well not rusty but it was all uh, faded and stuff and I was gonna scrap it but I decided I liked it and I gave him a new paint job not too bad Oh, I got a pair of skis. Some more metal hiding up there. And I got some more metal items around here somewhere. And they fell off the wall, so I don't know what I did with them. Neat stuff, like part of a wind wind vane or whatever you call it. And a wine rack. Some other stuff. This is my textbook session. All these totes you see here are full of textbooks. I sell those on Amazon. 
and this is a tote full of nice clothing and shoes and stuff I need to go through and this pure fix well not a pure fix but a fixed gear bike I found and there's its front tire it's actually kind of nice I mean, it's, it's nothing expensive but it's a nice bike and of course my old bike down here we've got some pet kennels I hold on to for a rainy day in case I ever need them no storage unit is complete without a little without a little MJ hanging out. Sometimes I'll find old stuff like this. Ouch! Oh, I probably just destroyed a textbook. <laughs> Somebody's old collectible. I haven't looked into it yet. Newspaper, 1968. Somebody kept it for some reason. It's probably just a personal deal, but. I'll have a look at that one day. A little trash guitar. A couple, uh, one bowling ball. Nice bowling ball, actually. A couple bowling ball bags. A little gumball machine action. Put these microphones over here. Uh, stacks of totes. I use those Rubbermaid totes. And this is all kinds of stuff back here. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Oh, nice real nice art set sitting there and underneath there's a bunch of nice shoes and a couple of five gallon gas cans like that I forget what you call them and oh, there's there's another one of my metal items that little little dude right there hiding behind the tires and uh, those two totes there are full of starter logs fire logs and I hang on to bungee cords. They always come in handy. Nice supply of those. Air bike pumps. There's my grabber. I get tons of comments talking about how I should get a grabber. And that's where I put my grabbers. <laughs> I got another one around here somewhere. And extra bike rack just in case. That one came out of the dumpster. And oh, I didn't go through all this. Oh, nice, pretty nice jackets in here. Uh, that's not, that's one of my clothes. Decent jackets. Let's get some more. These aren't the ones I found in my leather coat video. These are ones I've had for a while. I'm, I'm going to wait another month or two before I list them. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. I, I like that one, what do you think? That one's kind of neat. Not too bad, not too bad. interesting piece of steel it's kind of some kind of designer deal it's got rubber feet on the bottom of it i'm not sure what it is those three boxes of quartz samples i found in a video there's like 60 little pieces of quartz in each one of those and an air conditioner <laughs> a vintage word processor and monitor and one, two, three, four, five computers to scrap. Six computers to scrap. That's the four up at my apartment is ten computers to scrap. Plus all this and some of these boards in here are just I mean look at look at some of the gold plate on there. Ooh. That guy just about I don't know if I caught that on camera or not. That's <laughs> just Matter of inches, just just about got it. They got a gold plate on that one. Look at that. That's a nice board there. And I think I got another one of those down here somewhere, maybe. Look at that one. Look at that dude. I see now boardsort.com. They don't buy stuff like that. They don't have a category for it, so I'm not sure what to do with it. I'll probably just let it go on eBay and my gold plate auction. So what I do with this stuff is I'll take it and all the stuff that board sort will buy, like these motherboards and, and the RAM and you know all the hard drive boards and just all the stuff they buy, I'll send to them. And then everything else I'm just going to throw in one giant lot and stick it on eBay to auction and just let it go. Just get rid of it. 
I was going to put these ink tanks in with my gold plate, but now that I can sell a lot of stuff on eBay, I might just sell them by themselves. Got a little bunch, bunch of ink tanks around here. And got some laptops. Laptops floating around here. Take apart and this, that thing's just coated with gold pins in there. A couple of those. More laptops. Bunch of motherboards. All kinds of PC gold plated stuff down in there. Then I got some scrap metal up here. And my tools are all under there, just piled, piled with stuff piled on top of them. And some more skis, some more fishing poles. Those bongos. Oh, 360 Xbox and some monitors, a terrarium down in there. I don't know. Light might not be good enough, so. More laptops. A box of, this box of sunglasses I found. I found this entire box of, of uh, safety glasses. I mean, the whole, the whole box, the whole box is full of them. I just been picking out of them for a long time. That's clear glasses and sunglasses. It's just, <laughs> it's almost a lifetime supply, so it's pretty cool. Packing supplies, I got packing supplies scattered through here. Down there and down there and what's under here? Oh, look at that right there. That's all oh my uh, disk drives out of computers and stuff. I should have yanked those out there. I thought I was forgetting something. Yeah, there's all my disk drives. I need to take them apart. And under there is just some more stuff I have listed on my website, like some monitors and monitor stands and stuff. Got some aquarium lighting hiding back there. More bike pumps. See this TV right here with the DVD player? I was hanging on to it because it was nice. And I know sometimes people like to have stuff like that. Nice one with the... Well, that's not DVD. Or yeah, DVD player. But uh, I went to change my oil once. And I didn't really have anything. No, not change my oil. I went to take my rear tire off my motorcycle. And I didn't have a stand to put it up on. So <laughs> this is my motorcycle stand. I put it down right here on this. And it's about the perfect height. So, <laughs> uh, all right. In my next video, I'm going to take all this stuff and separate it into categories and make my board sort lot and my eBay lot. So, if you want to watch my next video, I'll have all that sorted out and ready to go for you. I don't know how my time lapse is going to turn out, it might be pretty lame. But I'll at least get the sun going through the sky. But there's all kinds of stuff in there. A lot of TV strip boards. Anyways, I'll have it all organized and ready for you in my next video. Almost done. That is pretty cool. Looks like Pac-Man. Pac-Man just ate the moon.